Hey guys, today I want to show you an interesting fact about induction motors. Now this is a capacitor start or capacitor run motor. The capacitor serves two purposes. It helps start the motor and it, and it serves as a run capacitor too. But the main thing it does is start the motor and it starts the motor in one specific direction. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you unhook the capacitors. Now this video is for demonstration purposes only so don't try this one yourself. I'm just showing you interesting fact that a lot of people don't know about okay right now the capacitor is still hooked up I'm just going to show you how it starts okay get an idea there okay I got it unplugged right now and you see this one has two wires on the, this side here because the black wire you see is actually a, uh, the fourth speed on this motor that's the way it's made it ties into the same leg I'm just going to unhook this one over here on this side now you see the capacitor is unhooked. These two are the same thing right here, so the capacitor is completely unhooked from the motor. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. I'm going to turn it on, you'll see it's just going to sit there and hum. Whatever speed you put on it just sits there and hums. Because the capacitor adjusts the phasing of it, it makes the motor start spinning in one direction. It's kind of hard to explain. Now since the capacitor is unhooked, It'll sit there and hum all day and eventually burn itself out. So if you want to get it to start, reach in here and spin it a little bit like that and turn it on, and it'll take off. I always thought that was pretty neat. Okay, stop running again. Now we're at a stop. I'm going to show you something else. You can spin it in either direction. Now it's spinning backwards. You turn it on. It's actually running in reverse now. Neither speed. Go ahead and turn it off. As you can tell, it's spinning backwards. It's spinning clockwise right now. To blow air out this way, it has to spin counterclockwise. And once it stops, then you can spin it to red, uh, counterclockwise. It'll take off running like that. Now this probably ain't good for the motor run right, without this capacitor because, uh, like I said, it serves as a run capacitor too. So I'm going to go ahead and hook it back up and let it come to a stop and you'll see that it, uh, it'll work like it used to now. So it starts on the time. And it don't have to be a capacitor start motor like this. It can be a motor that has a starting windings in it. Like for an example, a motor like that. Because they have a centrifugal switch inside of them, and when it comes up to speed, it unhooks the windings. But if you turn the motor, like wrap a rope around the shaft and yank it, like you're trying to start an engine, it'll actually run in either direction you start, as long as you plug it in before it stops spinning. So that's pretty neat too on one of them. And I'll demonstrate it again. See, it's off. And also, you can spin it while it's on like that too. I don't definitely do not do that. It's so easy to get your finger caught in one of them while it's on. And they can take your finger right off all that metal spinning like that in there. And like I was saying, this probably ain't the best for the motor running it like this. Because if you listen while it's running, I'll hook this up. I'm get it come up to speed here. If you listen, it'll speed up when I make the connection here. Here it Another thing that's pretty interesting about these motors, if you have it spinning backwards like this, if you have the capacitor hooked up, it'll automatically adjust the phasing to make the motor run this way. 
you can see it's running counterclockwise now facing it wait till it stops here I'll show you again you got it spinning backwards like that you give it power it'll automatically correct itself like that I think that's pretty neat how it does that and when you have it like I showed earlier and you unhook it you have it spin like that the motor will actually take off in the opposite direction Well guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.